I finished my Harbor Freight um, greenhouse eight days ago. I finished the door and put that on because I had to build that door since I made the whole greenhouse up higher. The original door didn't fit. So anyways, I put the plants in there eight days ago. Put a little lock here, keep it closed. Now all these plants here started from seeds and they are doing really, really well. And that's my squash. Um, peppers, there's only a few little ones, but it looks like they're starting to grow though. My squash looks really good. Did I? That's zucchini. Why did I say squash? That's zucchini and this is squash. And this is spinach, just sprouted today, um, and the lettuce looks pretty good. I'm going to have to put them in bigger containers really soon. Um, I've just been watering them with the little watering can right there. I don't have water out here yet. And then we have a cilantro plant, which was not started by seed. That was just a plant. We bought a strawberry plant. It looks like it's growing little tiny strawberries. My tomato plant. I'm not sure if that is just because it's so hot in here or there's some type of bug on it. But I see the little white spots, so I've been watching that. And then that doesn't look too good either. Um, that's another tomato plant. And then an aloe plant somebody gave me. Welcome to my greenhouse. <laughs> Got my vents, my little hangy thingies. The vents are open because it is a hot 85 degrees. I have the door open as well because it was up to uh, over 90 degrees today in here. And it's probably in the 80s outside. It's the end of April, it's Florida, it's hot. The only reason I really wanted the greenhouse is to keep the little wild animals that come around out and as much bugs out as I can. Um, I don't live in the woods though or anything. <laughs> There's a lot of raccoons and possums and squirrels and things like that that might eat my plants. And I don't want to eat them. I don't want to give them to the wild animals. So those plants um, are on a table that I made. I saved those table legs from a table we had for years that the top was all messed up. I threw it out with some type of plywood or I don't know, laminate thing. And I kept the legs. They were wood. Then I got more of that cheap wood from Home Depot. So the table is like six bucks. <laughs> and then those little buckets are just, you know, little wash basins, whatever they are. So we're going to have to go to bigger ones pretty soon. Um, I have the little watering can there. I have this um, watering drip starter kit that I got at Harbor Freight. <laughs> uh, the kit includes, it's backwards, and I see 100 feet of neoprene hose, two faucet adapters, one thread adapter, water pressure regulator, faucet gasket, water faucet gasket with filter screen, plastic couplers, blah, blah, blah. Just stuff that you need. So... Anyways, I got two of these for seven bucks each. They were on clearance. So I was thinking about just putting them around the top. But I got to bring water out here, which I can do. I could do some plumbing. <laughs> and get some power out here, too. So my plants are looking pretty good. Mm. I don't know what I'm going to do about the floor in here, though. If I'm going to put rock down or just let the grass grow. Look at these little lizards. They're everywhere. Where'd he go? Oh, he's gone. Anyway, there's another little lizard up there. You see it? <sighs> Scared him. All right. I'll show you my compost. It's 
is my hammock. Can you see it? That goes to the treehouse. Here's my little gnomes. I also got from a yard sale. The same lady that gave me the aloe plant sold me all these gnomes for eight dollars because she wanted to keep them together. And I was like, oh yeah, I have a little gnome garden. And then here comes the compost. It's right there. It's just a bin that I found behind my shed. I drilled some holes in the bottom so it wouldn't uh, hold too much water. Uh, I have two pineapples in there. They're not looking too good. I was hoping to regrow those. Uh, there's eggshells and potatoes and banana peels, all kinds of stuff. And if it gets too dry, I put this lid on top. It's just an old cabinet door that I didn't need, and I, paint, I spray painted it. So, anyways, that's how Aaron's garden grows.